Welcome guys, stay Giga Trade and Spam Noted. Today in this video, I'm gonna cover frequently asked questions when it comes to Elgacia. For those who are curious about the gameplay guide of the Kayangyo or the rewards, check out the descriptions below because there are videos already done about that. Then let's get started. Okay, first one is how do you go to Elgacia? Elgacia is located above the Arcasia like this, floating. And there are two methods to go here. Number one is... In the Nia village, where Albion is, there's a statue right next to him, and if you click on the statue, then you can instantly teleport to the place where I am. And this is the portal right here, and if I go close, then you can go back to the Nia village as well. It happens instantly, and this is, place is one of the spots in Elgacia. So that's number one. The second method is, if you see the songs, there's a Elgacia song like this. And if you sing this song, then you will be able to teleport to the starting area of the Elgacia as well. Both of these methods can be obtained along the story. The next question is, do we have to clear the Elgacia storyline for all your ults in order to do Abyss Dungeon Kayangyo for them? The answer is yes. Okay, so you might be curious how long it takes to clear the stories, right? Let's say that you're doing this for the first time and you're a kind of person who enjoys looking at the dialogue then it will take 4 to 5 hours. Yeah, and the reason why it takes that long is because there's this last dungeon, story dungeon, which takes at least 1 to 2 hours because there are so many cutscenes that are not skippable if you're doing it for the first time. On your alt, uh, you will be able to skip like you know all the cutscenes and also like let's say that you're a kind of person who spams the G key on the dialogue and also like you know um dodge the side quest and things, then it will still take at least 2 hours. By the way, if you want to clear the Elgacia story, then your level have to be at least 1460, and you have to clear up to South Fern. You do not have to clear Rowan, because Rowan is a side story. Okay, anyways. For the knowledge transfer, there's a lot of people who might be, you know, curious about this, because, like, let's say that you don't want to, you know, waste, like, 2 to 5 hours time. But still, you have to pay for 6k gold. Yeah, and that's a lot of gold. What I recommend you to do is just, you know, um, take some time and clear all the story on all your oats because it gives you, like, you know, a lot of car packs anyway. Okay, the next one is efficiency of bonus loot in Kayangyo Dungeon. For the normal mode, I would recommend you to only loot gate 2 and gate 4 because these two gates are the only gates that give you the white orbs which are needed to upgrade your bonus from level 2 to level 3. Gate 1 and 3 does not give you them. For the hard mode, um, if you did not finish all six pieces of a level three, then it's better to claim for all of them from one to four. After you finish all the pieces, then I would at least recommend you to bonus loot gate two and gate four because gate two and gate four has the best cost efficiency uh, when it comes to getting these honing mats. But also, uh, these two are the only gates that gives you a low drop chance of getting these exclusive ride, the black wing and red wing. 1 and 3 does not give you any chance of getting this. The next question is, will there be any Chaos Gate or Field Boss in Elgacia? Well, for the Chaos Gate, you still have to keep up with South Fern because there's no new Elgacia Chaos Gate. But for the Field Boss, there is a new Field Boss. This guy requires 1540, but even if your level is lower than that, you can still do some damage. And if you have enough contribution, then you can get the full rewards. The next one is the priority of changing Kayangyo items. So whenever you clear the Kayangyo, you guys will get certain items. And with those items, you can exchange to certain items from the Elgacia Merchant. And the number one priority is definitely the Legion Commander Selection car set. And you want to uh, go for a Thaemine most likely to get at least, you know, plus 12 Dark Salvation set. Yeah, because, you know, Kayangyo bosses are weak to these, you know, Dark Attribute attack from Gate 2 to Gate 4. And by the way... Both for normal Kayangyo and hard Kayangyo, if you clear two times, which means it takes two weeks, then you will be able to exchange for this card. I don't think there is, you know, priority afterward, so you can exchange for anything else after this. And if you want to check for all the, you know, list of the items that you can exchange, go check out my description of the reward video once again. Okay, last question is... Is it hard to reach max on report for Elgacia NPCs? So if I show you like what they roughly give, they mostly give you Elgacia, you know, exclusive card packs. Yeah. 
they all give you these kind of stuff. And to be honest, they're not hard to reach max. The hardest, you know, NPC is the same as this guy, Bastian. Yeah, which is not that hard. None of these six NPCs are like, you know, even close to something like Sasha or like Aileen or Dina Bay kind of, you know, NPC. Anyways, guys, that's all for today and hope you guys liked the video. If you liked it, please click the like. So until the next video, stay giga chat and spam. Know it, guys. Bye, guys.